we're going to begin here with something we have prepared for, and, and yet uh, we're entirely unprepared. If you watch our show, and have watched the show for any length of time, you know our friend and colleague Warren Holman, and on Friday we first heard the sad news, on the weekend we posted about it on social media, on Monday we spoke about Warren who has died far too soon, just 59 years old, and we told you that Warren had spent more than half his life here at KTLA. So we're all here now, Ginger's gonna come out in a moment, uh, Mark is back, and while Warren isn't here, he'll always be here, as much as anybody. Warren has contributed uh, to both the cake and the frosting. He mm -hmm. ran the traffic and weather department for decades, and that frosting, he brought us more laughs on the air and off the air than just about anybody. And speaking of laughs, this whole week, we've been pouring over these nutty, often very juvenile skits that Warren often starred in and always stole. Here's one from years ago, and as always, uh, Warren really committed. The real story is that the folks at DirecTV were planning to create their own weather channel. And did we here at KTLA view that as a threat? Well, Warren did not take too kindly to that. <laughs> We've been doing life. instant weather for years, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. And I don't think any of the other stations do it. Mark Thompson has that first weather. Fritz has that first look. But now, in what can only be viewed as a shot across the bow, our former friends at DirecTV have made this stunning announcement. Here it is, DirecTV will launch its first interactive channel, Instant Weather, on November 28th. A whole channel. A whole channel. And, and okay. now we're going with pinpoint weather. Yeah, pinpoint I'm weather. I'm sure that'll be like And you know, it gets worse weather. because even before, you know, I'm, I'm just breaking it to Mark now. I had to tell the weather department, Baron von Fahrenheit. Pirates, what's next? <laughs> DirecTV, DirecTV, I squeeze. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Uh, we need oh, to people no, shouldn't watch this. Please. Yeah, I just want to explain that that's the part of the weather department we normally keep in the yeah. back room. There's a reason why. Yeah. So oh. I'm sorry you had to see that. Oh, no. <laughs> He's oh, no. 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 It's a, somebody, no, no. You will burn. That's my boy. Oh, my man. boy. Oh, somebody get him. Somebody die. Okay, don't, don't put the That's the man I can fool again. with every morning. It's kind of way too ugly. That's you the know, brains behind man. weather, huh? As long as he stays in the room. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you hear that siren? Anyway, we'll look forward <laughs> really to uh, good in the weather. All right. Oh, the, 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 the siren was just a thing. That was a sound. Okay. Yeah. That was a one skit. There are so many, many more. A little montage here. And we begin. Remember when the actor Rafe Fiennes, this happened in real life, took a Qantas flight from Australia to India, and Rafe got together <coughs> with a flight attendant on the plane, and they, they got completely together. Warren, <laughs> by this time, huh? his cadre of players... Reenacted. Oh no! Uh, reenacted the aftermath, <laughs> uh, and that's not all. <laughs> I need coffee. Where's our coffee? Where Where's Eunice? It's a 14-hour flight. flight. I need it some coffee. Look, I do not have <laughs> <laughs> There she is. Where have you been? Where have you been? Beautiful. <laughs> There, she was busy with she, Rafe. Come she's on. She's beautiful. She's trying to tend to business. Is that she's a busy woman. <laughs> Is that Rafe? That was every bit the fantasy. <laughs> and you, you were sinful. <laughs> Excellent performance. Standing ovation. Wow, that was the best. Very good. Well done. Very good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, someone's saying break me off a piece of that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you don't get much hunkier than that. So when you're looking at tornadoes, you have to first <laughs> examine the oh, slimming oh, oh. of the funnel. Slimming like my tie, you notice how it makes the mass look smaller? Just in the same with this wall cloud. Out of control, my latest fragrance. Honey, you gotta hold that up. My latest fragrance, which I absolutely just love. 
Look at Sam's losing it. It's Every time! It never <laughs> fails! Oh, brother. <laughs> My second fragrance, imagine. <laughs> Uh, every time he never fails and I can share with you all the comments that have been posted all over social media all the letters we received so many people appreciate Warren's many talents I want to share with you a note that Warren sent to me Warren's last day with us technically as a KTLA staffer was May 8th and on May 12th Warren sent me this letter uh, it reads in part Sam my friend I had the time of my life on the morning news putting on skits for your segments was the best it was so Hollywood running around fighting the clock to get an idea on the air People asked me if I was getting an agent. Uh, for me, I just uh, enjoyed being silly and making people laugh. You got me out of my traffic and weather rolls and gave me the limelight. It was wonderful. Thank you. Warren, thank you. The best part of this job for me is that we laugh here every single day and many of our biggest, most wonderful laughs all came from Warren. And when I mentioned that Warren ran the weather and traffic department for decades, for some of that time, Jessica Holmes was, of course, in the helicopter. She's away for the holiday. But Jessica sent us this message. And she says, when I was in the helicopter for a few years, Warren was the voice in my ear, our weather and traffic producer. He was our lifeline to the ground. He took his job seriously. But boy, there was another side to Warren that we were lucky enough to see. He was silly and thoughtful and warm and absolutely hilarious. Warren could just give a look, a smirk, and have everyone rolling with laughter. We miss you, Warren, and we thank you for all the laughs through the years. Rest in peace, friend. Speaking of traffic uh, and weather, um, we all have these routines. When Mark Kriske walks into this newsroom every day for years, the very first person Mark had a conversation with every day was with Warren. Yeah, and actually that was one of the things that hit me. I was reminiscing during my many single years. I, it, I once came to the realization that, gee, Warren, you know, you're the actual very first person I speak to in the day. <laughs> and so the next day I walk in, and he's sitting there going, hi, honey. How did you sleep? <laughs> How's your back this morning, honey? <laughs> and for the longest while, we called each other honey. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, the, the laughs, and, and the man should have gotten an agent, mm. and he would have been probably on Saturday Night Live. He And Sam would just feed him an idea. Exactly. No, exactly. Yes. Yeah, we just right. an idea. We need a mad scientist. Yeah. And then he would yes. do the whole and, thing. And the whole thing. Yeah. And, and costumes. Costumes. And he'd, props. If props. he didn't have them, he'd make them and that kind of stuff. Yep. And then I'd be calling on, Warren, what's going on? With the, Sorry, I'm working on a skit. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and chaos, I could, the traffic and weather. I can appreciate that, but but on the other side of the Warren that we're seeing in those skits, the side that uh, people at home don't get to see, mm -hmm. Warren cared more about the weather than anybody. Yes. He wanted us to get it right, and he even would go up to Oxnard, where the uh, weather station, weather uh, uh, is, uh, National uh, Weather Service. National Weather Service. Thank you, Eric, uh, is located. He would meet the guys and gals over there, make friends with them, have their numbers. He would call them regularly, and he was he was uh, worshipped just as much up there as he was here. And uh, and as much as he tried to get it right, he did, and he made sure I got it right. Boy, believe me, if, if that's I, what he I love. Yeah, I was gonna say I could often hear him yelling at you <laughs> oh, yeah. in yeah. your ear yes. while you were trying to do yeah. the weather because you were getting something wrong. Yeah, and he and wasn't gonna done. have it. And no. that's why his nickname was Baron von Fahrenheit. Right? Baron that's the what Baron. Called him Baron. the Baron. The Baron. Yes. Yeah. No, just a, just a wonderful, wonderful, talented uh, individual. And uh, boy, I miss you, honey. Oh, oh. My, Warren was my love bug, so I would always call him love bug. I would I texted him a week before his passing. I said, "Hey, love bug, it's me calling mm. you," and um, you know I'm here partly because of Warren. When I came for my first audition, they said, "Oh, she's not wearing makeup. Who doesn't wear makeup to a TV audition?" But anyway, and he basically fought for me. And 16 years later, we're good friends. But in that process, and you're talking about he was such a perfectionist in terms of the weather. He and I would yell and scream each other, <laughs> arguing. And he would he would defend the producer Brian or Eddie if they got something wrong. And I would say, "Am I talking to you? I'm not talking to you." And he would scream back at me. And those same moments, in the same days, we would walk out laughing laughing and talking about, you know, our day and our life together. And so we became very close and very dear friends. And I just wanted to mention that his mother did send a text message. Thank you so much for sharing this beautiful tribute. I really appreciate hearing how much he was loved and valued by the team at KTLA. So um, I'm going to lose it soon, but I love Warren so much. I love my love bug. 
he was in the conference room in May of 1991 when we started the show wow. and talking about weather and traffic and he absolutely cared that it be accurate. He, he wanted the traffic information. He thought it helped people get to work. He, of course it yep. does. And um, you know, right now if he were here, he'd be saying, look, you got a storm outside. Why are you guys talking <laughs> yeah. about it? Yeah. Let's go to weather and traffic. Exactly. Yes. exactly. Oh. How did that come to be with him starting those skits? Well, they, they, the I was, was going to say, one, one thing you bring up, uh, Mark Sonnenberg, who was one of the executives who started this, okay. sent me a text. And apparently, when, when the morning news started, it was, you guys know better than I, it was completely separate, like in a different building. Separate like, department. So it wouldn't contaminate the rest of the <laughs> TV station. <laughs> and we had a, a general manager named Peter Walker, and apparently Warren was a temp who had worked at KTLA in Peter Walker's office. Interesting. And they were trying to do a deal, you'll know these companies, with shadow traffic or metro yep. traffic. And that wasn't coming together. And so it, it, Peter Walker turned to Warren and said, you're a smart kid, you wanna be the head of traffic? And Warren immediately went, yes. <laughs> and then, then came over to the, the building and, and started doing that. So it's amazing how it all uh, began. A genius for sure, yeah. Warren yeah. was. And a lot of viewers have uh, reached out to me mm -hmm. saying that he they felt so connected to KTLA with all of his skits and how funny it was. And so they were very heartbroken mm -hmm. when they heard about Warren's passing because they just felt like he was so much a part of their lives Family as he has been. Yeah. I, I so spoke obviously. to him a couple months ago and we talked about getting together and we said we were gonna do it mm. and we didn't get the chance. Mm. So I spent the last few days calling everybody who I care about mm. and making plans to get together yeah. because you just never know. You Learn don't. from yeah. this, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, just a, a beloved person that uh, that you guys knew much longer than I did, but man, we he, he was just the spirit of this place. Yeah. And, yeah, exactly. and gosh. I, he was the soul of this place. He really was. Wow. I spent yeah. 31 years with that man, longer than anyone else in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I left home at 18 and uh, yeah. it's 31 years. Yeah. Well, JG's doing her best, I think. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Sam. You Thanks, Thank everyone. You. Thank you, Warren. We love you, Warren.